my presentation, I will discuss some ideas for evangelization. Now we're at the World Youth Day. So uh, one idea I thought, just an idea this night, not got Kyoko and Jean Paul, John Paul II. Um, it was his idea to begin World Youth Day. Pope John Paul II, no. World Youth Day, no idea that they know there. Mahijoni, uh, it's a very strong evangelization event. People like John Paul and Pope Francis also help, they can still help us very much with evangelization because they're so well known. So, uh, I know. John Paul no ungaku, ungaku to John Paul no ano, eh, World Youth Day event there. Sugoi insho this ne. Ma, uh, Papa Francesco wa Nihon ni kimashi toki ni no, Tokyo Dome Stadium. Sugoi ipa hito imashita no there. There was lots of many, many, many people at Tokyo Dome Stadium. Of course, we had the pandemic soon after the Pope Francis came to Japan. But it's a very big impact to have a huge stadium many people gathered and maybe uh, some of those people were not Christian or, uh, but they came to see po uh, Pope Francis in 2019. So look, look at this example um, of how popular uh, our popes are, can be, and how our, the popes can help us with evangelization. So let's just take a look at uh, this um, presentation on using music. And John Paul, Pope John Paul, who began the world. Jesus Christ, The objective is to have a discussion, a uh, breakout session on ideas for evangelization. So we're just going to look at the work of some other Catholic groups, Christian groups, Catholic groups um, um, in other churches and parishes in the US, and maybe we can get some ideas. And then uh, with the ideas from Welcome Table and the ideas from Sebo Japan, uh, from Kudo Sensei, and the presentations earlier uh, this morning uh, in the panel, uh, sorry, in the breakout session, hopefully people can have some ideas on how to go forward. Um, before doing that, I just wanted to, in Japan, of course, we, we earlier we talked about the Pontifical Missionary Societies. And this is the one in Japan. This is the Pontifical Missionary Society in Japan. 
maybe not many people know. Uh, but this is the website. And Father uh, Mama, Naoki uh, Shimsan, uh, Naoki Mama Shimsan, is the director, the Japan director for the Pontifical Missionary Societies. I think Kona website wa Kyonen Kara Hajimata Disney. This website, well, I think, was started last year. There is a mission, World Missionary Day is coming up in October. Okay. So Pope Francis is asking all the clergy and all the laity to prepare for this day. And he's written a letter that was sent to all the parishes across the world. And we're going to take a look at this letter. Uh, and I'm going to display, hopefully, English version and the Japanese version. Give me one second, I pull it up. So Pope Francis has written a letter to the world to prepare us for uh, World Missionary Day. I think it's October 22nd, 2023. It's a kind of a long letter. But um, I think uh, everybody should try to... Uh, prepare um if you want if you're interested in evangelization um world missionary day in october uh is a good way to focus for missionary work especially in japan i think on the website here this is the message it's also on the website for the Japan Pontifical Missionary Society. Okay, so. Um, we can. It's, it's a bit long. It's too long to read here. So uh, try, uh, I'll post the information to everyone later. After that, kono website no link or minasan no Okay, so. Just wanted everybody to note that, the letter from Pope Francis for this year. And now, ideas for evangelization. Uh, ten ways to evangelize. It's easier than you think. So let's look at some ideas for evangelization. So I go to read just some of my suggestions in English, and we can hopefully everyone can follow in Japanese on the right side. So, Hidari Gawa, Daka, Chuto Ego de Yomimasu no de, Ano Minasan, Ano Nihongo Ban, Ano Migi Gawa de Chuto Yonde Kudasai, Gomenasai. So, 10 ways to evangelize. First way, pray for people by name. Okay, pray for people by name. Okay, so for example, Chances are you already know people who haven't heard the good news. That's what the gospel means, good news. In your prayer time, take their names to God. God at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. Ask him for opportunities to share the faith with the people, with them, and trust his timing. As you could, as you build relations relationships with them in advance of these of those conversations. So pray for people. Pray for people by their name. Get to know their name and pray for them. Go out into the world. What does that mean? Go out into the world. Don't just hang around in the Catholic bubble. Like-minded friends are important to nourish our faith, but we can never forget our duty to invite others into the family. Jesus tells us his great commission. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. While it's certainly easier to spend time with other Catholics, we are called to go out of our immediate circle and reach those who would never receive an invitation. If we don't, re if we didn't reach out, Jesus became incarnate and lived amongst us. 
we follow his example when we go out on campus and meet other students. In this case, they're talking about students, but it's everyone uh, where they are, whether in class, sports, team, club, a Greek house. Okay. So go out into the world. Number three, be bold. What does that mean, to be bold? Introducing yourself to someone you don't know can be scary. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you the words you need. Have courage. It might be awkward at first, but as we like to say, heaven is worth the awkward. So be bold. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. To reach out to new people. Let's go to number four. Extend personal invitations. How many invitations do you have sitting on Facebook events right now? And how many do you actually plan to attend? Chances are the events you attend are the ones where people look uh, took the time to seek you or invite you. Invite someone to an event with you. Your personal invitation might reach the person who needs a friend. Okay. So try to invite people to, to go with you to events. Five. Share life. Be with, um, be with people on their turf. Be with people in their home country, in their home area, in their home situation, in their home environment, in their work environment. Be with people. Find things that you and your friends can do together, even if it isn't something you love doing. Sacrifice your own preference with your friends doing things they love then you earn the right to be heard. Your friends will trust your recommendations about movies, books, restaurants. They will see that you live your life differently. That's your joy, trust and confidence in Jesus that makes you different than anybody else. And they'll want to know why. Why are you happy? Why are you confident? Number six, share your story. Your story is powerful. If you've never thought about it before, consider writing down how you came to know Jesus. How did you decide to follow him? St. Peter tells us to always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you to give you the reason for your hope. No one can argue with you with what you've experienced. So always be ready to share when someone asks. Number seven. Practice hospitality wherever you are. So we have the coffee welcome table, the welcome table at St. Ignatius, for example. Uh, you can put others at ease with simple acts of kindness, like being the first to start a conversation or introducing a newcomer to everyone else in the group. Hospitality doesn't mean that you have to be always be the one who brings the pizza, but you could invite a guest person to take the first slice of the pizza. Number eight. Share the gospel with a specific, specific invitation. Sharing the gospel is the heart of evangelization. 
There are lots of ways to share the story of Jesus. But at its core, the gospel includes four main points. You are made for a relationship with God. Two, sin, those times when we choose not to love others as we should, sin creates a chasm, a gap between you and God. Three, God became man in Jesus and he died for your sins to repair your relationships with God. Four, every human person has the opportunity to have a relationship with God if they accept God's invitation. Continuing. When you are sharing these points with a person in conversation, you can encourage your friend to accept God's invitation using a question like, would you like to invite Jesus to be the center of your life? If they say no, let them know you're still their friend and continue to pray for them. If they say yes, celebrate and pray with them. Encounter Christ together. Your friend's commitment to making Jesus the center of their life isn't a one and done deal. Now you can run. You can run together toward the goal heaven continue to invite them to spend time with you and to come to know jesus more deeply this might mean going on a retreat mission trip attending in this case a focus seek conference attending rcia together you know catholic um, course for those wishing to be baptized and of course, continuing to spend time together doing things you love to do. Okay, and the last point, point 10. Teach, <clears throat> teach others to do the same. Teach your friends how to evangelize too and do it together. St. Paul writes, what you have heard from me and trust to faithful people who will be able to teach others as well. Jesus sent his apostles into the world by reaching out to individuals who would be able to teach others. You can still fulfill the call to evangelize by developing deep friendships, inviting people to follow Jesus and teaching others to do the same. Go to this one. Advice and eight practical tips for evangelizing. This will be the last part of my presentation. It's very short, but just to suggest some ideas for evangelization. Prepare, so the first point is Prepare to prepare in prayer. Again, prayer is very important. Uh, Pope Francis also spoke. The first priority is for evangelization is to pray. We must pray. We never know who God is going to send our way. Ask the Lord to make us ready for when he does send someone our way. Then be on the lookout for that person and be sure to put the Blessed Mother and Pope St. John Paul II to work, advises Father Van Decker. I, I think he's the uh, evangelization director in this parish. To ask them for help. Prepare the soil, number two.
Show interest, love, concern to everyone you meet. Build relationships with people. So if the opportunity to evangelize presents itself, you can respond. We never know when someone we've met will open up to us. Tip three, be yourself. While some people have a special charism for evangelization, all Catholics are called to evangelize. Even if you're a quiet person by nature, that's okay. Grace builds on nature. So just be your natural self. Four. Trust in the Lord. The Holy Spirit will give you the words. Father Vandenacker says that Father Bedard described evangelization as being more or less a three-step process. In step one, we are responsible for sharing the good news. In step two, God is responsible for convicting the listener, the hearer of the good news to the truth. In step three, the hearer is responsible for responding to the truth. So trust in the Lord. Uh, number five. Look for natural openings. Respond when people show needs or reasons for blessings. Empathize with people. Show them you are a person of faith. But don't hit them over the head with your faith. Don't be too strong about your faith. Don't be too pushy. Don't be too aggressive. Six. Again, the point, be bold, be courageous, have courage. Don't be afraid. Be a witness for your faith. God uses us in amazing ways to let your light shine. Sharing your joy speaks the loudest. People are more apt to listen to testimony or witness than they are to a theologian. More important than sharing words when evangelizing is to share your joy and be witness of your faith. Seven. What to say? Father Vandenacker believes in the kiss principle, meaning keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Just keep it simple, very simple. Share your own experience and joy for life in Christ. You don't have to reel off Bible quotes or verses from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Just be ready, as we read in Scripture, to give a reason for your hope. You can say, hey, I was struggling once, or I saw God move in a powerful way in my family through a healing of his, of this. Or I had what's called a conversion. Up till then, I was leading a pretty miserable life. Most people, says Father Vandenacker, have an, an existential sense that something is wrong inside. We're yearning for something more and nothing earthly will satisfy that. As St. Augustine said, you can zone in on that by saying, are you really happy? Are you really fulfilled? Okay, and let's go to number eight, the last one. Number eight, don't be afraid of rejection. Leave the results to God. Sometimes we are just planting seeds. Don't be afraid of a little negative feedback 
or even hostile response. Some people may argue because they are uncomfortable or sense something is missing from their lives, but don't come across as judgy or holier than thou. Just be natural, be natural. Remember that you're sharing good news. Life in Christ is not just about the forgiveness of sins. It's about a whole new life that is to come. There's more to life than just what we are dealing with in the here and now. You might say, for example, for instance, I just wanted to share with you that I found a newfound faith in God through the person of Christ. What you are doing in evangelization process is planting seeds. Who can know what might happen at night when someone goes back to his or her home or in the middle of the night when the person is restless or upset? The Holy Spirit may remind them about something you said about God or Jesus or Jesus Christ or praying. Okay, so uh, evangelization uh, America, Europe, I know Keko uh, Evangelization Director Tachi Keko Oindus is not gonna so we, uh, mission group, uh, evangelization mission group, Huntani Ipayari Masu, I know Keko discussion strategy, do plan, do cake in its eat date. Mission group Keko Kyoka no Naka Sigoi activity this name, Naka Kyoka no Naka Daki Janai this name, Kyoka no Soto. Uh, outreach, I uh, know, uh, evangelization, no mukteki, kekko tsiyo indusu.